Thanks, Julian. Um, okay, so here we are this morning, sunny morning outside, and you are here, so thank, thank you for coming. I'm going to talk about uh, one thing that I think is, uh, if uh, those of you who have tried it probably will have found that difficult, if you come from a country like mine, which is uh, applying evolutionary computation. I will use indistinctly evolutionary computation and computational intelligence because, well, it's, uh, in this case, it, the difficulties are, are the same in both cases. So the title of my talk is Perpetual Motion, Evolutionary Computation Industry, and Other Chimeras. So the first thing, this is the chimera. It's a, if any people interested in, in Greek mythology will know, a chimera is an animal. It's uh, made up of uh, parts of a lion, a goat, and a snake. And it also means something that is uh, impossible, dazzling, or uh, implausible, right? Oops. This is my great-grandfather, Juan. And you will think, what the hell does he do here? Uh, he, this picture was taken in 1911, so that's over a century ago. This guy, he wasn't stupid, he, but he lived in an in a isolated part of Spain. It's called Albacete. If you've ever been there, you probably won't go back. <laughs> <laughs> I love Albacete. Eh? You love Albacete? OK. <laughs> uh, he had this idea of making a machine based on perpetual motion. And that was his chimera. He, he pursued this. He, he was actually a music te teacher. He, he, he wasn't stupid. He, he taught music. He was the, the, lead, the, the director of, uh, the conductor of uh, the local band in his uh, isolated village. But he had this idea of uh, perpetual motion and building a machine out of it. And he died thinking he could have done it. OK, but of course, if he had read Leonardo da Vinci like 500 years earlier, he would have known this was impossible, OK? <coughs> Still, did, that didn't stop him. He, he continued with his ideas. And the connection with me is that I am pursuing this, maybe it's a chimera, of applying evolutionary computation in industry. So I am going to show, uh, well, to show. Those of you who have tried will know that things, <coughs> once, uh, in theory, things are the same. Theory and practice are the same. But in practice, they are different. And this has been attributed, uh, normally, if you don't know who to attribute to, you attribute to Albert Einstein. Or Yogi Berra is also a good candidate. But in this case, the actual quote was uh, by this guy, which I'm told is pronounced, Jan L. A. van de Schnepschut. 